won the debate tonight. Last February, an intense hailstorm destroyed the fields and crop for the season across Maharashtra. Mira now travelled across the state to see how the farmers were coping a year on. We met 50-year-old Katru Pawar from Lamangao in Aurangabad district. He's yet to receive his insurance claim. Now tell us, why did you get a claim for now? What do you know? We have to pay for it. What happens? We don't know anything about it. We have to pay for it. We have to pay for it. But what happens is that we don't know about it. Farmers in some parts of the region allege that they are getting a bare minimum of 100 to 200 rupees in their account in the name of settling claims. A lot of farmers we've been talking to say that they're not, uh, the claims are not getting settled and most importantly, uh, they show me receipts of how they've gotten a meager 100, 200, 300 rupees in their bank accounts. Oh, come on, come on, it's got 10,000 to come on. खाली 40 रुपए, 50 रुपए, ऐसा बोले तो खेत में का कैसा चलेगा? While 2018 data hasn't been released, record from a year before shows a decline in the number of farmers who enrolled under Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana across India. Bankers तो मेरा पहला ही था मैडम, उसमें तो कुछ माफ़ की कुछ भी नहीं हुआ, और ये अब तो अभी तक तो कुछ नहीं दिया इन्होंने बचाने के लिए, और मैंने मेरे जेब में से दो बोरेल्स लिए, उसको भी कुछ पानी नहीं, अब तो कुछ स्वर्ष नहीं मेरे पास। As farmers protest and agitation continues across the country, Mira now asks, has the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana failed? Let's debate. But here's the question: the Fasal Bima Yojana gets deducted directly out of the bank account of the farmer as soon as he takes a loan from the bank. A lot of times. The farmer is not even aware that such an insurance policy exists. A lot of the farmers who have made, attempted to make claims have received payouts of 100 or 200 rupees. They say quite clearly that the policy has failed them. Why has the policy failed them and is this in fact true? That's the question we're asking today. Chari me Shri Yogendra Yadav, National President of Swaraj India, Shaina NC for the BJP, Sudhir Tiwari is a farm leader from Madhya Pradesh, Ajay Dua, former Commerce Secretary, Yogesh Pandey, spokesperson for the Swabhimani Shetkar Sangathan, uh, Shiraj Hussain, former Secretary of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Government of India, currently visiting senior fellow at ICREAR. Uh, I welcome all of you to this conversation um, I, and I want to start with Yogesh Pandey. Yogesh, if you could just explain to our audience how a farmer pays for this insurance policy and how the claim is made and when the claim is made uh, to receive the payout. Yeah, pay the farmers when uh, he goes for a loan in the bank account, mandatory the amount of insurance get deducted from his account. 20% uh, amount is paid from the account of farmers, 40% is paid by state government, 40% is paid by union government. So if 100 rupees is the insurance amount premium to be collected, 20 rupees from farmers pocket, 40 rupees from state, 40 rupees from a, a union. Now farmer is not even aware that his such amounts are getting deducted from his account. Now when there is a drought like situation and when there is in, this, in that circle, the, the, the yields are lower and the drought is declared, then, uh, then there is a uh, panchanama is done in Maharashtra. It is called as a umberta utpana. Means average yield is calculated, and based on that, the companies has to pay the amount of insurance to the farmers. Now, per hectare, take the example of soya bean. Per hectare, 800 rupees the farmers pays 3200 state government, 3200 central government, and farmers get 40,000. But does he get that? Answer is no. Now, I'll just give the example of permanent district. In alone permanent district, uh, for 17, 18, 2, like 75,000 farmers were unpaid. The insurance company was a uh, reliance. And for each uh, district, there is a nodal company which is given a contract and which is given a monopoly for that district. So that is the main company which collects the premium and which has to pay the uh, insurance to the farmers. In Parbani, the reliance committed big fraud they committed a fraud panchanama on the name in the village Tandulwadi. The farmer's name was Mutte. He didn't have a even, even a land. We okay. uh, checked the ground reality. There was no land on the name of farmer, but Reliance committed panchanama. 
and based on that panchanama all the farmers okay. were denied the insurance so this is the one one case and if you take the data of the across the india uh, for 16 17 17 18 more than 5 crore farmers are unpaid now the question ought to be asked that what is this yojana it is a charity or it is a for profit okay. it is purely for profit 16 to 17 thousand crore rupees are earned by this handful of uh, insurance company and they are a fraud on record okay, i'm right, telling right, you right, and right, they right. can sue me let's let's leave it at the point i am on records claiming okay it. let's yeah, leave yeah. it at the point yogesh pandey where you say that there are plenty of farmers who have not received any payout sudeep tiwari joins us is a farm leader from madhya pradesh madhya pradesh we know like maharashtra has really struggled with farm issues tiwari ji hamare sath judne ke liye bahut dhanyawad ki aap hame bata sakte ki madhya pradesh ki jo kisan hai kya unko fasal bima yojana ki payout mili hai kya fasal bima yojana unke liye Uh, उनको उनके मदद में आई है हैज इट कम हैज इट लाभ का हुआ है हैव दे फाउंड इट यूजफुल देखिए प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना ये बहुत जल्दबाजी में शुरू की गई योजना है इस योजना को अधिक जो फायदा है केवल मल्टीनेशनल कंपनियों को इंश्योरेंस कंपनियों को है इसके अलावा किसानों को पिछले जब से चालू हुई है किसी भी एक किसान को भी मुझे कोई बता दे कि उसको उसको उसका जो क्लेम का उसकी पूरी राशि उसको मिली है तीसरी चीज ये कि कंपनियों जिन्होंने इंश्योरेंस करते हैं उनको कोई डॉक्यूमेंट किसानों को देते नहीं है कि वो क्लेम कर सके उनको मालूम नहीं रहता कि किसको आ, किसका हमारे पास सामने बीमा किया है किसानों को मालूम नहीं रहता कि किसका बीमा किया है और हमें किससे पूछना है सेकेंड थिंग ये कि कोई इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर कोई एजेंट कोई किसानों के कांटेक्ट में रहता नहीं है ये तो आप मैंने एक सेंट्रलाइज जो है ना किसानों को लूटने की स्कीम है इसके अलावा कुछ नहीं है क्योंकि चौबीस हजार करोड़ जो है आप देखिए कि जो इंश्योरेंस कंपनियों पे क्लेम का क्लेम आता है और उसमें से मात्र सात करोड़ रुपए लास्ट ईयर में दिए गए तो कितना ह्यूज जो है डिफरेंस है कि इतना ज्यादा क्लेम होता है और कितना देते हैं किसी को पचास रुपए किसी को दो सौ रुपए ऐसे कई आंकड़े हैं किसी भी मेरे ख्याल से सब किसानों को किसान फसल बीमा से पूरी तरह विश्वास उठ गया है दे आर नॉट इवन वो समझते हैं वो उनको इतना भी विश्वास नहीं है कि उनको कुछ प्रधानमंत्री तीसरी बात यह कि किस उसमें किसानों का उसमें कोई कंट्रोल नहीं है वो डायरेक्ट जो है उनके अकाउंट से पैसे कट जाते हैं वो लोन लेने के चक्कर में कि वो फार्मर सोचते हैं कि हमें लोन मिलेगा इस चक्कर में वो बीमा जो राशि कट जाती है उसको भी सोचते हैं शायद ये एक गवर्नमेंट फॉर्मेलिटी है बट अभी किसी भी पहली बात तो उस गवर्नमेंट के सिस्टम की कोई अवेयरनेस नहीं है उनको मालूम नहीं है कैसे क्लेम लिया जाए गवर्नमेंट का सिस्टम नहीं है कि वो कैसे उसको क्लेम को इम्प्लीमेंट करे तो ये एक बहुत ही फर्जी स्कीम है और इसका कोई भी फायदा नहीं हो रहा है इसको सिर्फ जो फायदा हो रहा है सिर्फ मल्टीनेशनल कंपनियों को हो रहा है Yogendra Yadav National President of the Swar of Swaraj India Mr Yadav thank you for joining us good evening uh, now when farm leaders tell us that farmers have not found this particular insurance policy useful it's also anecdotal evidence because they feel that they haven't received a payout the truth is that's true about insurance companies um, i see your hand go up mr duwar i'll bring you in for a rebuttal after mr yadav has spoken but do we have enough evidence at all on a national level to say that this uh, that this policy has failed or is it just anecdotal stories that people are basing their opinions on mr yadav uh fe what we heard from yogesh pande from maharashtra and tiwari ji from madhya pradesh is a very very common impression when i travel throughout the country they everywhere kisan say sir ye to bankon ka apna loan ka bima hai hamara bima thode hi hai so i looked up the data uh it's important to remember that fasal bima yojana was not the first crop insurance scheme crop insurance schemes have been on for about 30 years mm -hmm. it was on paper slightly better designed scheme but as is usual with this government the claims were bombastic the claims were that we are going to cover every kisan first year there were 23% farmers being covered before this scheme came into existence the claims were that first year will raise it to 30% next year 40 the year after that 50% the reality first year it did go up from 23 to 28% second year it came down to 24% so actually rather than increasing and that's the data that scroll has now also covered cover found out that as of today 
द कवरेज ऑफ फसल प्राइम मिनिस्टर फसल बीमा योजना इज एक्चुअली ए शेड लोअर देन यूज टू बी द केस बिफोर दिस स्कीम वॉज लॉन्च दैट्स ऑफिशियल डेटा नॉट माई एलिगेशन नॉट एनिक डॉटल सेकेंड इज टू से डू द डू द इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज एक्चुअली पे क्लेम्स विच आर डिसेंट Uh, again look at the official data the year before this scheme came into existence uh, the government of india they had a scheme at that time they used to pay they had paid in year 2015 16 this is the year just before pmfby came the total claims paid were 21608 crore rupees next year actually the claims paid went down to 15000 crore rupees the year after that again it's lower so it's not that the claims are higher although the positive thing is that the farmers share in the uh, premium has gone down it's a very reasonable uh, premium that's not the problem with this scheme the problem is claims are not being settled they are not being paid and interestingly public companies are still paying some claims private companies are not now the retort of most of the insurance companies is okay insurance companies are not supposed to pay every year some year it's good some year it's bad fair enough looks good on paper so i looked at the three cases which are clearly cases of enormous distress tamil nadu 2017 which is the only success story of pmfby so far and then you have uh, Uttar Pradesh 2016 Bihar 2017 Uttar Pradesh 2016 was a case of massive drought what happened that year total premium received was 650 crore rupees and paid out was only 450 crore rupees in a drought year massive drought in Uttar Pradesh only 6% of the farmers who were insured under PMFBY actually got any claim Bihar 2017 massive floods throughout Bihar and you know insurance companies actually earned 470 crore rupees anywhere in the world insurance companies would have gone bankrupt in that particular year they actually made profit so this is not anecdotal we have official evidence now from okay. replies given to the parliament and on the dashboard of pmfby that the scheme has failed to perform its principal task namely to give farmers relief at the time of distress and okay. the only see, beneficiaries of... are the private insurance companies let me bring in the rebuttals we have ajay dua and we have uh, siraj hussain mr dua you first uh, you obviously disagree with what uh, yogendra yadav is saying and what sudhir tiwari and uh, yogesh pandey said before him do you believe that this um, this, pro- no, this no, no, policy no, is a success no 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 i don't think uh... yes go ahead no i'm i'm actually in total agreement with okay. what all three of them have said that first that this might be a scheme launched with great fanfare in 2016 but we've had agriculture insurance policies in the country being offered for a long time so for almost 37 years before this scheme was announced second i i think by the architecture of the pm first fasl bima yojana is itself defective when i say this it is because the it is almost compulsory for a loanee to get his crop insured otherwise the credit advance institutions do not advance him the uh, money in fact so this is insuring the credit institutions rather than the farmers second even if that money has been deducted from their account the law of insurance requires that a document be sent by the insurance company within 15 days we have that in general insurance yes. we have that in life insurance to the person who has paid the premium and then if the person is not happy with it he also now has the option of returning that policy and say please return my money i don't subscribe to it finally if there is a grievance and it looks like the grievance is extremely widespread and i tend to share it totally then there is a regulator for insurance in the country called irida based in hyderabad which has jurisdiction over insurance companies who do not settle claims within time what they have promised or to the extent they have promised i think there is a failure of the regulation regulation there is a failure in designing of the scheme as well as there is 
a misdirected attempt to save the money of the financial institutions rather than farmers who earlier had an option to continue under those schemes which have been going on for 37 years. In fact, first 37 years, then a modified one, but here to get the money, compulsory insurance, and then at the end of it, they either don't get a dam or they get, get pittance. I think it is an all-round exploitation of the farmer. Mr. Siraj Hussain, you've been listening very patiently and I thank you for your patience. What is your view on this product? Is it different from previous crop insurances that we've offered uh, to the farmers? And we've had other policies like the panel has accepted. Do you believe that this one has been a success? When there are four uh, eminent panelists saying that the scheme is an absolute failure, then I think my task is extremely difficult, but I would urge each one of them to go through a paper which we had produced after the first year of the scheme in which we had come up with certain suggestions and some evaluations. Now give me some time yes, to please, respond to some of the points made. First of all, the previous scheme, which is called the National Agriculture Insurance Scheme, was not really an insurance scheme. The Agriculture Insurance Corporation, or Government of India, PSU, collected the premium, and it was only responsible to pay the claim up to the amount of premium collected. Over and above that, if there was any claim, it was paid by the center and the states in the ratio of 50-50. So it was not really an insurance scheme, and the payouts were very heavy. In fact, we have documented in our paper what were the payouts earlier. Now, this particular scheme is a very uh, well-designed, I do not think it was done in a hurry, it, it is a very well-designed scheme which is based on actuarial discovery of premiums, based on tender in each cluster of districts where there are some uh, more prone to disaster districts and some less prone to disaster districts. As far as the farmer's premium is concerned, the farmers pay just about 2% for Kharif crops, 1.5% for Rabi crops. Now, what has happened is that last two years in which the scheme has been implemented, large parts of the country, fortunately, have not seen any disaster. The states which have seen disaster, and I have the data answered in a parliament question on 5th of February, as late as 5th of February, the minister has answered that in Kerala, for example, the claim ratio is 200%. In Karnataka, 134%. In Tamil Nadu, it is 283%, which means that the claims paid are three times the premium collected. So it depends on where the calamity is coming and the insurance companies have paid. Of course, there are any number of things which need to be done. I have written several articles on this and I do realize that we are still awaiting a technological breakthrough which will reduce the number of crop cutting experiments required because basically the payouts depend on crop cutting. Lastly, I must say that the crops which are notified are decided by the state government. In case of Kerala floods, I wrote and meant that the, under the weather-based crop insurance scheme, Kerala had not taken insurance for floods as a result of which the farmers could not get any benefit when their crops were damaged by floods. Now, one good news is that now about one third of the farmers who are taking insurance are non loany farmers. And therefore, the scheme, I think, will become more popular. Also, I would like to inform Mr. Dua and others that recently the government of India has started sending by post uh, the insurance certificate. It has gone to West Bengal. In fact, West Bengal has withdrawn due to those certificates mm. being sent because they say that it is under Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana, etc. So, to sum up, there are difficulties in implementation, but to say that the scheme is a failure, that only private companies are benefiting, etc., etc., it is based on incorrect appreciation of how an insurance scheme works. All right, uh, Yogendra Yadav has a rebuttal. Mr. Yadav, go ahead. <laughs> I wanted to say Mr. Siraj Hussain clearly knows more than most of us do. He was, in fact, instrumental in designing the scheme. So I would listen to him very carefully. And uh, we owe, it is true, and I, I had also said in my remarks that uh, uh, Prime Minister Fasal Bhima Yojana on paper was a design improvement upon the previous schemes. 
uh, but in reality the performance has been very very disappointing uh, i would i may have to leave but i would request mr esiraj hussain to clarify two or three things if the performance is good why is it that farmers coverage has actually yes, come yeah. down in the second year is that not a fact that actually much lesser number of farmers are enrolling than was the case earlier number 2 you gave the correct examples of kerala karnataka tamil nadu these are states where most things in this country work what about uttar pradesh what about bihar the two examples i gave which are clearly years of enormous distress and natural calamity why is it that the coverage was so that that uh, the payment made out was so low there it's not even 100% should have been at least 200% but it's very very low i gave the examples and in, uh, and in maharashtra three, is it not true sir that uh, on the ground level on the ground level private companies do not even maintain an office mm. district mm. after district these private companies maintain some one room office the entire infrastructure of government has been used private company right. use empty number of devices to rob farmers of their due in terms of payment and the government has shown no political will to defend the farmers otherwise why is it that there is a striking difference between the claims paid by the public sector companies and the private sector companies is that not a fact uh, also mr ajay do a very go ahead your rebuttal please i think for settling the claims of the farmers private companies rely upon their own person seeing the damage and only then assessing whether the claim is right or wrong and as was just pointed out by mr yadav the they haven't really employed adequate number of people nor have they the expertise to do what's called crop cutting experiments ccs so last year certainly the government aware of it and if the government said that as soon as the government agency assesses the damage at the same time the insurance agency person should also be present that means co cce co crop cutting experiment uh, being being done by that person that's not happening so all that all that is happening is a an assessment of the ability to pay of the insurance Uch, company the is co becoming the criteria Uch. for settlement of claims not the legitimate claims of the farmer i realize i am making very strong statements on this subject but i think that is the position on the ground and a state with which i am a little more familiar uh, than some of the other states is the state of maharashtra i can i can tell you not just in vidarbha but even in marathwada and parts of khandesh that is jalga dhulia nand nandurbar bordering gujarat and madhya pradesh the the number of outstanding claims is huge in fact uh, we've sent reporters out to speak to farmers and i just want to play this out for the benefit of our panel uh, mr pande i can see your hand up i'll come straight to you but let's just play this out this is this is what farmers told our reporters about the pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana please listen ओ कम से कम इसका दस पाँच हजार तो आना था ना खाली चालीस रुपए पचास रुपए ऐसा बोले तो खेत में का कैसा चलेगा वो ज्यादा भरे तो कम मिल रहे ना पचास मिल रहे कभी सौ मिल रहे बहुत मिलते नहीं कब से भर रहे हो वो दो तीन साल से भर रहे हम गवर्नमेंट से तो बहुत सारे स्कीम आते हैं मगर उसकी जो रूट लेवल है रूट लेवल बोले तो प्रॉपर फार्मर के पास तो इसका इम्प्लीमेंटेशन कुछ भी नहीं होता क्या मालूम है अभी इधर से हम भरते उधर क्या होता है कुछ होता है हमारे को पता ही नहीं लगता है उसका क्लेम भरते रहते हम बाद में क्या होता है मालूम नहीं गिरता ना हमारे को मालूम भी नहीं रहता ना कहाँ बात करने की क्या करने का खाली ये मालूम रहता का पास खाली बीमा भरने का बात किस से करने की ये मालूम नहीं रहता ना बात करने के किसके साथ कुछ मिलने का नहीं उम्मीद नहीं है आ, आगे भरने को हमारी भी उम्मीद नहीं है हम आगे कहाँ से भरेंगे आप इतने पैसे गए पाँच साल में खाली दो हजार रुपये आए तब पच्चीस तीस हजार रुपये चले गए दो हजार रुपये आए तो आगे कहाँ से भरेंगे is that the view of farmers across across maharashtra that you've spoken to that they don't know who to speak to they don't know how to make the claims they just know that the money is going out of their accounts absolutely 
absolutely absolutely things are much things are much worse uh, fe fe while uh, assessing the success or a failure how can we forget the 45000 suicides of the farmers that is the reality that is the bitter reality 45000 45000 uh, kisanon ki khudkushiya hui hai and when mr siraj is claiming that uh, this scheme is full proof is a successful scheme and it's very well crafted we can't forget 45000 people in their reports why the main cost for the their death is napiki which is a lower yield and are they paid insurance that has to be tested and there the success or failure of the scheme can be checked it the answer is negative the you will get more than 80% farmers 85% not paid not single penny has to be paid to them and there are cases 10 rupees 50 rupees 100 rupees the farmers are told that you have paid only 800 rupees if you are getting 1000 rupees okay be happy this is the case so it's a very sad and this scheme is totally failure it's a mega failure it needs to be reworked it needs to be rather paying them uh, insurance scheme you uh, government should directly transfer uh, the 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 premium amount to farmers account that will help much rather than feeding the uh, private insurance companies coffer so it's a very uh, sad saga and it has to be changed uh, hopefully now what happens to next government because this in this five years the farmers have not got anything in this insurance scheme Yeah, well, uh, a quick, Mr. Mr. Siraj Hussain, do you want to respond to the points raised by Yogendra Yadav, Ajay Dhuwa, and now um, you know, now Yogesh Pandey? Yogendra Yadav asked you about the fact that the number of farmers signing up for this has actually come down. The claims being paid in certain cases, and I'm looking at the state-wise, company-wise, crop-wise breakup. In, and what has been submitted or downloaded from the Fasal Bima Yojana website, the claim paid is lower than the gross premium collected in over two years. How is that possible? And why is it that private companies are not even required to have an office or a representative in every taluk to service these claims? Actually, it is not true that uh, in most of the states the claims have not been paid. As I mentioned, mm. the states where the claim ratio is more than 100% include Odisha, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Haryana. Uh, you know, Mr. Yadav himself is from okay. Haryana, where the claim ratio is 261%. In fact, in fact, under the previous scheme also, there were a number of problems relating to manipulation of data of crop cutting. Actually, one of the reasons for bringing the private insurance companies in this business was to check the tendency of the state's revenue departments and agriculture departments and politicians to show much higher losses than the losses actually incurred. In fact, even last year in Rajkot district of Gujarat, which is notorious for this kind of thing, there was a dispute between the insurance company and the state government it is true that uh, in most of the places they don't have the insurance companies may not have permanent offices but obviously if the state government awards a contract to an insurance company for one year you know they may not like to have people however i have myself visited nagpur in maharashtra and i have seen that now most of the insurance companies depute their representative to observe the crop cutting experiment because the payout depends on crop cutting experiment therefore it is in the interest of the insurance companies to observe the functioning of the crop cutting insurance now it is true that there are delays in payments we need more technological input and I, I, as i keep writing we are waiting for a technological there are no payments, drone sir, no payments technology etc has to be used no payments, but at this stage <laughs> no, no, Mr. Mr. Actually, Mr. Sen, forgive me. I, I just want to ask true. you for if, one one you piece one no piece payment. of information, please. Premium. What? What? One second, gentlemen. Mr. Hussain, when Say, the, the when the there is a drought, the one second, Yogesh Pandey. One second, one second, one second. Mr. Hussain, when there is a drought or a failure of crop, does the payment okay. go to the farmer, or does it go to the bank or the lending company that has given the farmer the loan? Who is the payment due to? Yes. In case of loany farmers, the payment goes to the bank. So it is true that basically uh, it is the loan That's uh, all the which rest. which is being insured. But you know we cannot say that that is a bad design. The reason is that if there is no insurance, then farmer has to pay the loan from some other means. In case of non-loany farmers, which is now talking about one third of the insurance, 
the money goes to the bank account of farmer. <laughs> okay. So now let me let me bring in Sudhir Tiwari, farm leader from Madhya Pradesh. Sudhir Tiwari, uh, Hussain ji ka ye kehna hai ki agar aapne loan liya hai bank se aur aapki fasal ki failure hui hai to wo yojana ki jo payout hai wo jayegi bank ki. Yes, wo direct ki. bank mein jata hai. Ji, aapko nahi aayegi to aapki loan barti ho jayegi. Bank mein. To kya kisan ye samajhte hain? Ye puri tarah Ji, main aapko batau ye puri नहीं ये किसान तो समझते हैं मगर मैं आपको बताऊं ये पेपर में और पॉलिसी बनाने में ये बहुत अच्छी स्कीम लगती है परंतु परंतु एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट ये किसानों को बहुत अच्छी लगती है ये योजना फसल बीमा योजना बहुत अच्छी लगती है पेपर में और योजना बनाने में पर तो एक्चुअली में इम्प्लीमेंटेशन पार्ट में ये बहुत ही वीक इसमें बहुत सारी कमियां हैं पहली बात तो क्या है एक एरिया वाइज ये लोग एक क्रॉप को डिसाइड कर देते हैं कि एक इस एरिया में ये एक फसल होती है अगर किसी किसान ने दूसरी फसल उगाई है तो उसको उसका जो है उसको बीमा से अलग रखा जाता है उसको बीमा की वो इसका क्लेम मिलता नहीं है कभी सेकंड थिंग ये कि अगर आपके एरिया में पूरी नेचुरल कैलेमिटी जो आपके जो नेचुरल डाइजेस्टर जो ऐसा कुछ होता है जिसमें ओले बरते बरसते हैं पूरे या आप बाढ़ आती है तो तो आप उसको करते हो अगर परंतु एक कोई क्षेत्र में छोटे से क्षेत्र में अगर किसी दो चार किसानों को अगर नुकसान होता है उसके ही खेत में ओले होते हैं तो इसमें इसका कोई वो नहीं है तीसरी चीज ये कि इसमें कोई भी जो सिस्टम जो है मैं आपको बार बार ये बोल रहा हूं कि इस स्कीम में सबसे बड़ी कमी है कि किसानों को मालूम ही नहीं है कि क्या करें हम अगर क्योंकि कोई उसको देखने वाला नहीं है इवन गवर्नमेंट के बॉडीज भी जो हैं केवल अच्छा तीसरी चीज ये कि बहुत सारे जो किसानों ने जो लो, जो जमीन जो है रेंट पे ली रहती है उसको इसमें शामिल नहीं किया है तो ऐसी इतनी सारी कमियां हैं केवल रवि और खरीफ की फसल सब्जियों का क्या है अधिकतर बहुत से किसान सब्जी तीन फसल उगाते हैं उसको इंक्लूड नहीं किया है ऐसे इतनी सारी कमियां हैं और देखिए केरल जैसे क्षेत्र जहां है जहां अवेयरनेस है जहां टेक्नोलॉजिकल लोग जो किसान समझते हैं परंतु ऐसे रूरल इलाके जहां किसान कुछ नहीं समझते उनका तो शोषण ही होता है इस, इस स्कीम के थ्रू और जो बीमा कंपनियां जो हैं बीच में इसमें बहुत बड़ा उसमें जो है वो पूरा फायदा लेने का काम करती हैं बहुत सबसे ज्यादा फायदा लेती है और लोन के नाम पे उनको क्लेम के नाम पे उनको बहुत सौ रुपए पांच सौ रुपए तीन सौ रुपए ज्यादा मिलता नहीं है well, um, and, and I think yeah, if we were going forward, we need to make sure that the responsibility of this implementing this scheme is much more put on government-owned agencies like the Life Insurance Corporation has now been made responsible for implementing the Prime Minister's but Mr. Scheme Dua, for insurance scheme for unorganized labor, uh, labor in this budget. Secondly, NABARD. Which is a specialized body for agriculture. These, the, it is making money by on, through its refinancing, financing, loan, loaning the, the coverage to the institutions. That is far better equipped to deal with farmers' issues. It has a much wider network of people affiliated to it. I am sure that will have a greater coverage as well as acceptance than private insurance schemes. Finally, I would say there is need, whether we like it or not, that it is impossible for an insurance company to cover every taluka, 600 into 12 or 600 into 15. If you look at it, 10,000 talukas, and then every taluka having 100 odd villages or even even more. No, but Mr. Dua, that we trust you, you, you the You did say, you did say, Mr. Dua, that this is a pro, this is a scheme designed for the banks and not the farmers. that there has been a distress, there has been damage. At least the larger issues. Nee, मुझे एक 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 मुझे gentlemen मैं आपसे एक बात में पूछना चाहता हूँ कि अगर मैंने आपका insurance करवाया है फसल फसल बीमा योजना में मैंने insurance करवाया है और मेरे area में एक मिनट और payback the amount. हाँ तिवारी जी बोलिए एक मिनट मैं आपसे पूछना चाह रहा हूँ कि अगर आपने इंश्योरेंस मैंने करवाया है फसल बीमा योजना में और एक मिनट और मैंने जो है मेरा जो क्षेत्र है वीट का आता है गेहूं के क्षेत्र में आता है और मैंने जो है उसमें दूसरी क्रॉप बोई है जैसे चना बोया है तो मुझे क्या इंश्योरेंस मिलेगा उसका क्लेम मिलेगा अगर मेरे कुछ खराब होता है तो 
That's a fair point. Uh, Mr. Hussain, could you answer that uh, question? If the if he, if he comes in the territory of Nein wheat but he's growing corn, Nein will he get a payout and will he come under the purview of this insurance policy? Mr. Hussain, go ahead, Mr. Hussain. ऐसा है इसको इसको लेके गुजरात में बहुत मिसयूज हुआ है क्योंकि कुछ क्रॉप्स ऐसी हैं जिनकी कॉस्ट ऑफ कल्टीवेशन ज्यादा है कुछ क्रॉप ऐसी हैं जिसकी कॉस्ट ऑफ कल्टीवेशन कम है तो बहुत बड़े इलाके में गुजरात में ये होता था कि वो ऐसी क्रॉप का इंश्योरेंस लेते थे जिसकी कॉस्ट ऑफ कल्टीवेशन ज्यादा है बोते दूसरी क्रॉप थे तो काफी पुरानी स्कीम में नायस में डिफिकल्टीज थी और उसकी वजह से बहुत क्लेम के सेटलमेंट में पुरानी स्कीम में भी मुश्किल आती थी ऐसा नहीं है कि उसमें बहुत दिक्कतें नहीं थी इनफैक्ट इसीलिए बहुत सोच समझ के गवर्नमेंट की इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज के अलावा ये डिसीजन लिया गया कैबिनेट के लेवल पे कि अगर हमें अब क्या कहें जब आप बीच में ही टोक देते हैं तो क्या बोलें चलिए नहीं आपका जो आपने बोला कि डिफरेंट अगर वो होता है देखिए गलत और सही की बात नहीं हो रही है मेरा ये मतलब है कि पटवारी का सर्वे होता है पूरी रिपोर्ट जाती है उसके बाद होता है हमने इंश्योरेंस करवाया है हमें क्लेम मिलना चाहिए भाई देखिए क्लेम जो होता है वो देखिए मैं आपको बार बार ये बोल रहा हूं कि ये देखने में अच्छी लग रही है आपने बोली है उसके कॉस्ट ऑफ कल्टीवेशन अब आप जनाब पूरा तो बात करने ही नहीं देते तो क्या पर आप ही फरमाइए कुछ और बोलिए ऑल राइट जेंटलमैन आई आई आल्सो वांट टू ब्रिंग इन एट दिस पॉइंट जी जी बोलिए बोलिए ओके उनको एक एक मिनट बोलने दीजिए मिस्टर हुसैन फिनिश आंसरिंग द क्वेश्चन एंड देन वी विल मूव ऑन मिस्टर हुसैन गो अहेड ऐसा है कि द कॉस्ट ऑफ कल्टीवेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट क्रॉप्स इज डिफरेंट एंड द इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम एंड द क्लेम आर बेस्ड ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर क्रॉप देर फोर इफ अ फार्मर हैज सोन समथिंग एल्स देन ऑब्वियसली द इंश्योरेंस कंपनी इज नॉट गोइंग टू पे दैट क्लेम दैट इज अ सिंपल पॉइंट मोर ओवर नॉट ऑल क्रॉप्स इन अ स्टेट आर नोटिफाइड बाई द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट फॉर इंश्योरेंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन यूपी शुगर केन इज नॉट notified because sugar cane crop is not prone to damage therefore this is not the real issue the real issue is the use of technology in quicker assessment of damage that is the real issue and i must say that for certain calamities like hail for example mm -hmm. the damage is to be assessed at farmer field there is already an app and i am okay. very sure okay. that the farmers whose crops Okay. All right. Uh, uh, one uh, one uh, second. One sir, second. Don't sir, interrupt. Sir. Let me bring in China NC of the BJP. Three. Just yes, I can see all your hands up. But I just, China hasn't spoken yet. China NC of the BJP. We have several people on the panel telling us that a farmers don't know about this uh, scheme. They don't know how to access it. They haven't been uh, given payouts. The ones who have given payouts have been given payouts of forty rupees, of fifty rupees, or a hundred rupees, which is grossly unfair. Farmers who are cultivating one crop. and not the crop notified by the state government are not getting paid out and in several cases the payout goes directly to the bank the farmers have turned around and said that while they're paying the premium this entire scheme is a failure on the part of the government your response as spokesperson of the bjp shainancy so firstly fay this pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana came into being in 2016 You had 4.06 crore farmers register the first year and 3.87 crore the second year. Of course, the data for 2018 is awaited. And why so do you, you already have eight crore farmers that are known? Leave it. Hello. Can yes. I just complete my point? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. The point is that if you have an insurance scheme for farmers, what are the reasons? we know that crops are destroyed due to droughts sometimes floods erratic climatic conditions landslides pesticides and various other uh, criteria so i think the greatest uh, benefit of this particular farmer scheme the uh, bima yojana is that earlier you used to always have a cap 
Now the upper cap which was restricted and limited by insurance companies is not so in the case now. So the benefit goes directly to the farmer. I've been listening to your experts who probably know a lot more than I do on farming. But having said that, whether it's kharif or whether it's rabi or whether it's wheat or whether it's sugarcane, if you have schemes that are here to insulate the farmer from the erratic conditions that they would have to work within, I think we should welcome it. We can all no, raise no. questions that in ke, uh, in ke farm pe kharif uh, ya rabi nahi hai aur wahan gehu hai to kis drushti se kare. There are lots of exceptions to the rule too and there's a lot more that needs to happen but the fact is that the benefits of the Pradhan Mantri uh, Fasal Bima well, okay. Yojana Shana are known to all statistics also suggest if you have... Let's be specific to Maharashtra. Yeah. Is it not true that when the farmers marched into Maharashtra asking for attention from the Maharashtra government, Devendra Fadnavis made a series of promises to those farmers and told them to return. Not a single one of those promises have been kept. And the farmers now plan to march into Mumbai one more time because you've not kept a single promise. Explain to me why this government is so insensitive when it comes to small landless farmers. No, I think this assessment is wrong. These mm. were not farmers. They were tribal farmers who wanted their farmers. land uh, exempt, uh, rather removed from <laughs> reservation. And that was the demand which Devendra Fadnavis's government said yes to. Did they I keep think the, we also did they keep need the to promise, understand though? that whether it's a Jalyuk Shivar which has reached out to 19,000 villages to have irrigation or better uh, cash rich crops no. or solar pumps or insurance scheme or pension schemes or mudra banking for those farmers whose kids don't no, no, want to be farmers. You're not answering the question I asked you. You're not answering the question I asked you. All of this has, has been the government of Maharashtra about. kept the promise that it made to those landless, you said tribal farmers, tribal farmers are still farmers. Have the promises been kept? The answer is no. We understand that these farmers want to march again. Is it not true that the government of Maharashtra, Say. the police of Maharashtra has been arresting or taking into preventive custody farm leaders to prevent these farmers from assembling again? Why are you taking farm leaders into custody right now, Shaina and see if you're so pro-farmer? Faye, the issue is not about farmers here. This is about land acquisition of tribal farmers where they want it to be de-reserved. That is a completely different issue to what we're debating on today. When we talk about insurance schemes, you cannot correlate that with the actual no, no, owner no, 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 no. or the no, person no. who is using the land which has been provided. Uh, if... if no, no. So uh, I'm not asking you to deregulate ahead, something sir, you don't you want know, to deregulate, but don't speak. promise something you have no intention to follow through on. Uh, Yogesh Pandey, go ahead. No, but it has been promised. There and is a process in place. It's not just yeah, one fe, department. Uh, it I, is I, multiple let, let me present a case. And fe, we are fe, not fe, here for one. Fe, let me present a case of Parbani district. 2,75,000 farmers are unpaid for two years. That is the reality. Let Honorable Siraj Ji and BJP spokesperson and reply and report on this. That is the reality. In every circle, people are unpaid. Farmers are unpaid. That is the truth. We have filed a petition before Aurangabad High Court. Farmers have gone to IRDA. Farmers have gone to CM. Farmers have gone everywhere. That is the reality. Farmers are not paid. And the number of people insured farmers insured and the payout that will give you the uh, figures what is the outcome of this scheme whether this is this scheme to say this scheme is for the benefit of farmers right it's not for the corporate it's not for the for the profit of the corporate sector it's for the benefit of the farmers and are the this benefit being passed to farmers answer is no you 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 just go go through the premium collected and what are the disbursement is, is, is this means in last three years there is no, no, no drought, no situation where the crop has been failure, meager amount of hardly 10-15% has been paid out by the insurance company. So then where is the success of this scheme? Yes. Where is the success? Mr. Ajay Dua, you had a rebuttal for Shaya and see, go ahead. Ajay Dua. Yes, I, I just want to raise a question. Mm -hmm. the, about the Insurance Regulatory Development Authority of India, a body set up to look at the balance the interest of the, uh, the insurance companies as well as the insured persons or the insured products. 
there is if the government has this claim that it is settling the claims doing it well doing it in time why doesn't it subject itself to the jurisdiction of the irida and irida creates a setup to see how this insurance scheme country wide insurance scheme is being implemented right from the insurance in normal insurance companies have to have their product approved then they are selling and mis selling can assessed by the uh, insurance regulator as well as claim settlement issues come in as well and finally also whether reserves are being made etc for future settling of claims or not i would think that if there is today any legal issue which is not uh, empowering the irida to look at this this set of schemes that should be yes that should be looked at plugged, Ab absolutely you are absolutely legal right gap and let an independent outside body looking at the interests of both the sides start seeing how this scheme is being implemented designed and implemented All right, uh, we have run out of time on this conversation, but like I've said in the past, we're going to keep a very close eye on the farmers, especially in states like Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra, where farmers are suffering currently from drought. Maharashtra, particularly, is in very bad shape. These farmers say that they have not received payments from the Fasal Bima Yojana, and they are now dejected. The ones who have received payments claim that the payments have been of 50 rupees, 100 rupees, 200 rupees, nothing that would help them get back on their feet. Some of them are shocked that the payments have gone to the banks and not to the farmers. The private insurance companies who have been tasked with providing these insurance policies are not on the ground. They are not in the zillas. They are not in the districts. There is nobody to talk to. There is nobody to reach out to. When farmers like the ones you see on your screen expect payouts from this insurance policy. the premium of which gets deducted from their bank accounts now the government might turn around and say it's only 20% the rest is subsidized by government but even 20% for a farmer is a lot of money there has to be accountability we appeal to the insurance regulatory and development authority the irda to take a look at this fasal bima yojana the private companies that are actually running it and find out why the end customer who is now on your screen has received no payout in the thousands and the lakhs across the country